Hey guys, welcome to the other 167 here. Uh, I am Brandon and we started the Idol series. This is part 2 of the Idol of Control. The the subject for for this video is you are worshiping the idol of control. If the big if uh this is part 2 video 3 of the Idol series. So please take a note of that. As I have stated this before, please do start from the first video because it is introducing what idols are and 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 how it applies to you and how it relates to you and how it has to do with your walk with the Lord. Uh we covered in the previous part about the idol of control and this is part 2 of the idol of control. So as I uh, just a very quick recap, God alone is in control of every situation under the sun. uh being in control god being in control is one of his attributes it is one of his great qualities and uh, it's his power it's his might which is why he's called the almighty our flesh is in the fallen state our flesh is still part of adam our inward man is part of the new adam the second adam which is christ our flesh is part of the old adam so the old adam of us of that's in us or the old adam that is us is uh, in a fallen state and uh the, when adam fell he uh reflected the fallen state of satan when satan fell from heaven satan wanted to get in control of everything you know one of the bad quality of satan when he rebelled against uh, god was he wanted to be in control of everything he wanted to have the very attribute that god had which is control he wanted to have it to himself and we replicate that in small or big ways knowingly and unknowingly uh we covered that uh, you know uh, do not look at the former things that have gone by isaiah 43:8 which is a very famous passage uh do not look at what has gone behind because sometimes we try to, we try to control our past we try to control our future we want to control our future well but we don't want to let go of the past so we are controlling we are trying to control things that aren't for us to control basically that in a nutshell is the idol of control you're trying to control things that aren't for you to control it is not your place to control uh, it, you know when you are healing from something you want to take control of a situation where you want to you want to heal yourself rather than let god heal you and that is the idol of control you know even in in relationships and families somehow you want to you want it to be about yourself you know that's also the idol of control you're trying to you're trying to seize control over everything that isn't for you to seize so uh we are doing a single point because i want to focus and i want to cover proper ground over here only god has control and that also healthy control over all things so when we go about with wanting to control everything we are trying to usurp god's authority and that becomes an idol in our life when we want to be in control of situations that aren't for us to control we try to use up god's god's authority in uh, in ways we are aware or not aware of it then becomes an idol in your life uh, because as i said in the in the very first video that anything that we uh, that takes up a major portion of your thought life and anything that hinders your walk with the lord becomes an idol in your life Now having said that 1 Corinthians chapter 6 19 through 20 now this is a very important verse this has other connotations it has other meanings as well but i will also but this also has to do a lot with you as a as a christian as a believer as someone who's experienced in the new birth what know ye not that your body is the temple of the holy ghost which is in you which you have of god and you are not your own you have been bought with a price therefore glorify god in your body now imagine paul is so harsh he's saying that even your body is not yours even your your own body is not yours how much more you ought not to worry about things that aren't yours or about things that uh, is not for you to control how much more ought we to worry to not worry about things that aren't for us to control if our own body is in dash and so when we try to go about trying to be the fulfillment of what uh, in, in an area where god has to be, has to fulfill it we we try and sort of get into control we want to get into control and it's in a, it's in our fallen state that somehow we feel that we uh, if it's not us then it won't happen like you know if if you don't heal yourself or if you don't try and heal yourself with your own fleshly strength 
you will never be healed that's a lie of, of of the devil what the holy ghost is is meant to do in your life is rather the work of the holy ghost in your life is to help you realize that without god you can absolutely do nothing without jesus who is the holy ghost in us without him he says without me you can do nothing so without god we can absolutely do nothing everything we do we have to yield to the holy spirit we have to yield ourselves to god entirely if we don't do that then we fall if we don't do that then we realize that we have an idol in our life that has to be cast down i hope that i can touch on many other more on many more issues and many more idols in the past to follow uh thank you and god bless you